I'm State Representative Tommy Vitolo, and today we're going to talk about all of the elected positions in town government. Let's start inside Town Hall. The town clerk is elected to a three-year term and serves several important roles for our town. The town clerk is the records keeper. The town clerk issues permits and licenses for things like dogs and marriages. The town clerk uh, serves an administrative role on several boards and committees, including the Zoning Board of Appeal and Town Meeting. And perhaps most importantly for many of us, the town clerk manages our elections, not just the election in May, but every election we have in the town of Brookline. The Brookline Select Board are the leaders of the executive branch of town government. There are five select board members, each elected to offsetting three-year terms. The Select Board is responsible for the hiring and firing of the town administrator and department heads, the execution of contracts, the appointment of members to boards, committees, and commissions, and the approval of a variety of licenses, such as the Common Victualler's License. As the name suggests, the Brookline School Committee is responsible for the Brookline Public Schools. Made up of nine members elected to offsetting three-year terms, the school committee is responsible for the hiring and firing of the superintendent, for pedagogy, and for determining exactly how to spend any monies allocated by federal, state, or local government. The five Brookline constables are elected to three-year terms, and their role dates back to the colonial era. The primary responsibility of a constable is to post public notice for events like an upcoming town meeting or a polling location being moved. Another role of the constable is a process server. And that means that if a constable knocks on your door, they're not bringing you a publisher's clearinghouse check. They're bringing you notice that you are being sued, subpoenaed, divorced, or evicted. Finally, in the event of a fracas in a public meeting or hearing, the chair of the committee may call upon a constable to remove the unruly party. The trustees of the public library serve as the Brookline Public Library's board of directors. There are 12 of them, four elected each year to offsetting three-year terms, and their role is to manage the policies and procedures of Brookline's public libraries, as well as to hire its executive director. We're here at 90 Longwood Avenue, the headquarters for the Brookline Housing Authority. Now, the Brookline Housing Authority has five members. One is appointed by the governor. The other four are elected by people in Brookline. One of the five must be a resident of the Brookline Housing Authority. And this board is responsible for managing and maintaining all Brookline Housing Authority properties, which provide safe, affordable housing for low and moderate income people, including seniors, the disabled, and families. The town meeting is Brookline's legislature. Made up of 255 members, it is 15 residents from each of Brookline's 17 precincts, typically elected five at a time in each precinct. On elections following the decennial census, all 15 town meeting members can be up at once. Brookline's town meeting is responsible for the annual appropriation, the budget, as well as passing laws and regulations related to land use, development, or other behavior in town. When in person, Brookline's town meeting meets right here in the Brookline High School Auditorium. The moderator is elected to a three-year term and serves several important roles. The most obvious is to moderate the town meeting itself. The moderator holds the gavel and controls the agenda, determining the order of speakers, whether or not a question is germane or appropriate, and counting the vote itself. The moderator has two other important roles as well. In the run-up to town meeting, it is the moderator who determines which proposed amendments are deemed in scope, as well as determining the agenda for each night of the town meeting. Finally, the moderator appoints members to several boards and committees, most notably the town's advisory committee.